fishing, but the tides, the tides just wasn't right. But they will be right, you know. When I get a, when I get a couple of day off or so, I'll I'll come over here and uh, I'll have a little go. Like you know, you know, the odd flat it might be about. It ain't flat season, but there's always a chance you look one in here. Uh, yeah. I, I, I've even had winter bass, you know what I mean? People say like bass in the winter, it's a bit hard to catch them in the winter, they move out like they like warm water. But I've had like bass out of here in the winter. I've had nice sized bass out of here in the winter. In fact, I caught it, it was about three, four years ago. Like I had a nice one, because I haven't fished here for ages. Um, yeah, I had to ring my mate up, because I had no camera on me, to bring the camera down to take a picture of it, you know? He came down, like he, he took the picture for me and I've got that saved somewhere. I'll have to dig that out. That was quite a good fish. Yeah, so as I say, just walking along the estuary path now. Well, right, there's plenty of little spots to fish along here, but you know, there's, there's all gullies in this mud without fishing. I love it here. Yeah, love fishing. I, I watch plenty of your, your, your other guys' videos. Um, Angling Passion, I watch. Big shout out to Jason. Um, I don't know what his name is, but I watch Fish Fish Hunter UK, um, Angling and Anxiety, I watch a lot. Um, GSP Fishing, I watch that one as well. I've got a few saved on there, you know. I could go through many names, like many of them, you watch them, and they teach you a little bit, you know. You pick something up from their videos, and they, they teach you something. All the time, fishing's a learning process, yeah? I just used to set up, chuck my rod out anyhow, and forget about it, do you know what I mean? But but you've got to have a little bit of savvy, you've got to have a little bit of thought behind it now. You've got to, you've got to think a little bit about, about what, what you're doing, how you're presenting your bait, you know? You know, big baits for certain situations, smaller baits for others. I never used to do that. I used to go to a tackle shop, used to get two, three score of lug, used to go down the coast once every three, four months, set, set two rods, two reels up, just put any old rig on, and just lob it out, basically, and not even think about you know, what I was actually doing or what I was fishing for. And uh, obviously I've never caught anything like massive in my time. I've got two fish that I don't want to catch this year. Like my targets, are, I want to catch a smooth hound, don't care what size, and a ray, you know? A nice size smooth hound, nice ray, do me. Everyone else seems to have caught them and I can't seem to, but I've got my nephew looking after me on that, and I've got another fisherman, uh, as I say, from Angling Passion. He gave me a few tips. He's very good. Cheers, Jason. Another shout out for you, mate. Yeah, excellent. See, now I'm all I'm all prepared. Like I've got weights. I've got I'm all stocked up on everything. I've got a really good bait man. Like, ring him up, and I'll get my bait. That's lovely. Always plenty of stock. A really really nice guy. If you want any bait. Seriously, go to this guy. This guy's a gentleman, 24 seven baits. There's a shout out for 24 seven baits. Terry, he'll sort you out. He's a lovely guy. 100% genuine fella. What a bloke. Anyway, as I was saying, I've got everything now. I make all my own rigs, obviously. You know, my favorite rigs are I like the pulley rig. I like the pulley panel. I like the up and over rig. I like the pulley drop downs and yeah. Yeah, they're my favourite three rigs to use at the moment. Um, they're my go-to rigs. So yeah, when uh, when I get all signed up, when I go fishing, I'll um, I'll get you all involved in this uh, this thing, and I'll tell you what rods I've got, what rods I'm using, what reels I've got, and stuff. I'm just coming past the pier now to where I I, I fish. But it, God, they've opened this all up. Long time since I've been here. Oh blimey, look. Tide ain't in my end yet. Still coming over the mud, guys. You might be able to see. You might be able to see a little bit of where I fish and why I fish it. There we go. I don't generally fish this part. This is this is a start. Like this this is all mud banks here. This is all mud. This is all mud mud bank. It's all flat. You hardly lose any gear. That's why I like it. Look, it's all mud. It goes right out. It's all mud. I'll show you where I fish guys. Go around there now, look. But I don't fish that bit now. I'm gonna show you where I do fish though. Let's carry on walking around. We're nearly at my mark, but I hope the wind ain't affecting this. This microphone should be blocking the wind, hopefully. Yeah. 
should be blocking the wind out. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I bought it because that's what it said it did, and I, you know, you never know. I, I, I research everything I buy on YouTube, obviously, you know, to see if it's any good or not. But you never know, do you? Good thing about like ordering for where I order from, like order from Amazon. Amazon have got a brilliant returns policy. We just box it back up.